team founded on Florida's go for a great nickname. Plenty of it overhead some days and on the ice many days. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Hi everyone with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich and tonight we get to take a look at the player who leads his team in assists. It's not seemingly as glorious a column as being the top goal scorer. It seems really important though. Ask a goal scorer, Doc. You love those guys that pass the puck to you and you're able to put the puck into the back of the net. But he has such great vision and this is a team that doesn't score a lot, doesn't generate a whole heck of a lot, but if they do, He's probably right in the middle of it when he passes the puck. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Ben Bishop, the goalie of choice for this contest, and a good choice it is. A huge presence at 6'7", 214, and at 28, finally got a chance to prove his value as a clutch goalie for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Mark andre Fleury gets the call to the goal crease. Half his life ago, at age 15, he was playing major junior hockey for the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles, and he dreamed of making a save that would win his team a Stanley Cup. He did just that for Pittsburgh in a Game 7 10 years later. Opening faceoff seconds away. We know that Phil Kessel has a great shot. They'll be looking to get the puck on his stick early in this first shift. Our game is underway with that faceoff. Tampa Bay's coming into this one now on a roll, having strung together a few wins. Focus and execution is the key to success. Speared along by Phil Kessel. Point blank save. Score! They have struck early in this one. score goals, especially off of rebounds, go to this area. Pucks to the net need to be deflected into the corner. Because the goaltender can't do that, the goal scorer is able to pounce on the rebound. You always hope if you're paying the price of admission as a home fan that your team scores first. In this case, it has. So far, they got their money's worth early in this game. Score. Gets in. What'll he do? Has it picked up. To Malkin. Oh, here's a wrister. Great stick save. A cover, and play is stopped. One minute, 23 seconds. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. Good help for the centerman. To Strawman. Propel to Stamkos. Pitching this one to Bonino. Oh, wonderful play. Great job, great speed, no icing. One-timer, crossbar. Tampa Bay's moving the puck up the wing. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. Tough to stomach from a shooter's perspective. That was a perfect shot. The goaltender can't get to it, but you get nothing for it. Pittsburgh's confidence is at a sky-high level. Anything they need to do over the last 10 games, they've been able to find it. They need a big goal, they get it. They need a big save, they get it. They've been a blocker away. Tampa Bay setting things up in their own end. Nicely into the zone. And the possession taken up by Cole. On to Fair. Snapping a pass to Cole. Slid to Philpola. Let's it go. Good chance. Denied. Lugged ahead from the defensive zone. Moving it to Fair. Terrific interception. A shot. Just missed the net. In this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire it right at the goaltender. Two immovable objects against another one. The boards. Wonderful save. To Philpola. Took that pass perfectly off the wing. Oh, what a save that was. Had a 
has it back deep. Tampa Bay is controlling play now through neutral ice. Closed off and sealed on the boards. Terrific hand off. Picks it up back there. Good place to shoot from. Why? Pass attempt to Kessel. Seeks the corner. Taken away. Paquette's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Pittsburgh's given a minor here for tripping. Now this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Tampa Bay is getting their first chance of the game on the power play. Pittsburgh's prevailed on another faceoff. The Penguins shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Trying to go to Stamkos. Pushing it on through the neutral zone. And he steps in. A shot. A terrific shot, but it's answered by the pass. And so now a penalty will be handed out. Pittsburgh sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. Tampa Bay's power play gets a five on three, and it's a long one. Let's see how they perform. The Penguins with a clean win on the draw. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the Laid on to Stamkos. Oh, great cut. Cleared back along and out of harm's way. And now it's directed to Palat. To Stamkos. Score! A goal on the power play. When you're thinking about taking a wrist shot, it's all about weight transfer. Transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck. That's exactly what happened there. I think he believes he's got the whole net covered, Eddie, but he's left open the low stick side, beaten pretty cleanly. The Penguins win that neutral zone faceoff. Pitching it to Phil Pilar. Sent out, and he'll make him chase it. Tampa Bay's going back further to get restarted on this man advantage. Not a long pass, but effective. He's got it. Good solid defensive play there. Close in play. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. The Penguins' penalty kill is finally over. Tampa Bay's organizing things back in the defensive zone. Possession seized by Phil Pilla. Pittsburgh's getting an attack ready in their own end. He gains the zone. Snaps a wrister. Terrific left save, but it's loose. Inside the final minute of play. Good work with the stick. And the puck is grabbed by Hornquist. The Penguins continue to probe up the wing. Hammered! And that's one period. Still two more to go. The red light flashed twice, both for the same team. Two to nothing. Let's take a look at the shots on goal in that first period of play. Eight for Tampa Bay and four for Pittsburgh. Stamco's goal came late in that period, and it may be the insurance goal of the game. Who knows? But we are at the break. One period played, a second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? 
Pittsburgh's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. Oh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Puck is thrown to Pilat. A shot. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. Shoot. And he'll cover. Latang's a difficult player to play against. He finishes almost every check. And as a result, he has among the highest hit totals in the league. Pittsburgh's got that win. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Tampa Bay's moving the puck up the wing. Got it in his own end. Chip to Malkin. A shot. Great glove save. There was some room. Not enough. Great glove save. Bishop's able to make the stop here on a very difficult scoring chance. A little under four minutes have been played. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Let's go, Arister. With a shot off the mask, no chance. I can't imagine goaltenders never wearing masks. Bonk right off the coconut. That one's got a sting. Big face-off win. What a ripper! Propelled to Callahan. Great take, dangerous area. Looks ahead to start something. Passing one off now to Hornquist. He throws it there. Got the iron with the shot. Off the boards. Pad save. Ooh, hard one there. Then he holds on. Sometimes you got to be in good position just to make the stop, but you also got to be lucky. This puck changes direction and ends up hitting the goaltender more than he stops it. The Penguins prevail again. Chris Shaw, that's a good pat save. He's in on an onside play. And picked up now by Cole. Looking to fair. And he gains the zone. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. Can't ask much more from your goaltender than this. That's an excellent wrist shot that he's able to deny. The Penguins win it. Wonderful save. Well, there's a little bit of a luck involved there. The goalie was screened on a play. He couldn't see it, but he stopped it. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape, he makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Defensive zone win. And he motors on between the blue lines. Hit into the stanchion. That could be dangerous. That's a dangerous hit when you run into one of those stanchions. The Penguins with possession up the wing. Just a backhand. Blocked. In the defensive zone, making headway. Directing that one to Kalorn. And he gains the zone. Collected by Cole. Pitching this one to Kunakul. On to Cullen. With a blast. Oh, stick save. And another save. I thought the second was the toughest. Bishop's athleticism was tested on that wrist shot. That was an excellent scoring chance. He 
beat him on that one. The scrum to the plexiglass. Kessel's hooked on the play. There will be a penalty. Tampa Bay's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Good face-off win. Steven Stamkos, two minutes. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Snapping a pass to Paquette. He is shut right off. He's alone. What a save by Fleury. Slid to Hornquist. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. He scores. Castle. He worked himself into a good scoring area and let it go on the backhand. Bishop's move to the stick side is pretty aggressive, but he doesn't get there quick enough to stop the shot. Pittsburgh's gotten a goal here to get back to within a single goal with lots of time left in the game. We're still in the second. Tampa Bay's collected another victory on the faceoff. Oh, what a hit there. Glass is going to rattle there, boys. That's a big hit along the boards. Domestikov's been rocked by that big hit. He's not getting up. Guys, bone jarring hit here. He was hurt immediately. Domestikov's not on the bench. He's made his way back to the dressing room for evaluation. Suspect it's an upper body injury. Just under five minutes left to go here in the second. Tampa Bay's given up a goal. Still have a margin, though. And that margin is one. That hit somebody. What a tremendous bit of anticipation. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. And he steps across the line. The Penguins starting back in their own end. The puck taken hold up by Fair. He can start some danger here. Puck grab, they're ready to go. Moving it to Coburn. And he drives on through center. Pass attempt to Philpola. Fires. Oh, what a chance, what a save. Chooses the corner for this. No completion on that pass thanks to the stick. Gets that pass, doesn't have to move too much. 40 minutes have been played, a rest is deserved. Check out the shots on goal through these two periods. 14 for the Penguins, and 11 for Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay's got the lead at the end of the period, and their goaltender has made a huge difference in that. Here's just an example of his body of work. We'll be right back. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Pittsburgh's down after the first 40 minutes of play. Couple of positives. One, they're only down by a goal. Second, time of possession has been in their favor, but at some point, they have to convert some of those chances. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. And so down it goes, and icing is called. Kessel's made his defensive play and play away from the puck a priority to improvement. He's really shown some as he's among the highest plus-minus leaders in the league. Quick work on the faceoff. And they've got it again. Trying to go to Drew in. Onside. Taken on by Hedman. Gathered up again by Hagelin. Carries it to the corner. And the pickup. 
laid on to Malkin. He used the stick well, didn't he? That one by Ryan Callahan. And the possession taken by Malkin. Puck control. Score! And this one is tied! Goal scorer put that puck in a shooting position, let it go and beat the goaltender clean. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered, but there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. The Penguins have gotten this game back even. Third period heroics for them. Let's see what happens next. The face off win, and now what will they do with it? Scored by number 81. One timer. Good save there. Again by Hornquist. Off his glove. And he'll hold on. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Over six minutes have passed here in the third. Tampa Bay's lead has now been canceled, but still time remaining in the third. He slides it to the point to Philpola. Goes back deep for it. Poke checked away. Pass cut by the offense. Chip to Bonino. Around through the corner. Offensive possession here. Shot. Just missed the net with that one. You know what, Doc? I could see why he missed the net. There was nothing there. He tried to be too fine. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's gonna have to do a much better job challenging him. Good face-off win. Drill, he scores! That's three in a row. Shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. And so from that position, the glove side is your target area, but the goaltender should know that. He just can't catch it. The Penguins, at a critical point in this game, have broken the tie. They've had a huge advantage in time of possession, so it looks good for the future, too. Pittsburgh's got another face-off win. By number 11. Kicked away. Pointed to Cole. Lugged along the line. Gains the blue line. And offside is called on the play. Bishop's made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save and he makes it look really easy. The Penguins win the draw. What's next? Nice pass right up the gut. On the outside, a shot. Diagonally to Nesterov. And now it's directed to Kunako. It's an onside play. Puts one on. Score! Four unanswered goals. Element of surprise with the wrist shot. Get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. And so that's a great shot, but the goaltender went down into the butterfly, he opened up the top of the net, and he's hoping his glove is going to bail him out. Not this time. Tampa Bay's prevailed again on the face off of the neutral zone. At the point of drive! Pitching it to Fair. Into the end of attack. Seeks the corner. Taken over again. Save! Tampa Bay's recoiling in the defensive zone. And he is reefed. Whoa, pick yourself up after that one. That is a big hit. Puck is thrown to fair. 
sneaks in. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Passing one off now to Stamkos. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Shot into the path. Looking to Kalorn. Backhander to the net. Off a of body. Up to left side, DeMalkin. Back on his stick. Shoots one. And another strong save. Tonight's attendance, 18,313. We'd like to thank you for your support. I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. is a large win by the defensive centerman. Congratulations to him. Directing that one to Kalorn. Nearing the final minute of regulation. He looked propelled to Malkin. Pitching this one to Kessel. Points it. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. And it's driven away. Fires a shot. But covered, whistle blown. He's able to make the glove stop here on a relatively easy scoring chance. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Shoot. What a save. Considering the shooter, that's usually in. Oh, pocket picked. Marvelous save by Fleury. Tampa Bay's. What a move on that one with the stick. The Penguins through the neutral zone have it. Net open. Oh, what a great chip pad. The goalie beat and glanced it off the post. Fires. And that's the end of the game. It was a great time. Tampa Bay's long winning streak has ended with the final horn of this game. A bit of a heartbreaker here. This team has seen a lot of success as of late, but this one just got away from them. So the teams have left the ice and are getting rested for next time. For this time, for Eddie and Ray, Mike Emmerich saying good night.